So another activity we did last year before I started uploading to YouTube was a macrame feather. And um, I'm just basically going to give you a very short introduction and then show you some of the pictures because someone has done a video on how to make it. So there isn't really much need for me to make a whole video on it when you can look at the original poster but um, supplies I was buying macrame cord three millimeter and it's single twist when I first started looking for macrame I had no idea that there's so many different types there's like double twist triple twist and um, I didn't know the size to get so this one's three millimeter and um, Unfortunately, on the website, this looked a little bit more red and this looked a little bit more yellow. We were going for the four colors of the medicine wheel so that maybe you could incorporate a lesson plan on the medicine wheel. Oh, so you will start off with, you have to uh, decide which color you're going to end with. And I've chosen white and you will have one string that's longer than the other. And this string will be about 14.7 inches. And then all the other strings will be about, I think I ended up doing them about 10 inches, uh, four of each color. And you will start off with your one long one. And what I ended up doing was going to the dollar store and buying a bunch of cork. They work out to be about $1.50 each. Um, it is slightly bigger than this. This one's been trimmed down and really I need a little bit thicker than this one because the pins will poke through the back. So what I did as opposed to having to spend twice as much on extra cork is I just cut out a bunch of pieces of cardboard and put cardboard underneath, um, so that the pins could pick, uh, pins could pick, uh, poke through into the cardboard so that worked well so I just poke that through and now it's stuck in there but you will need besides the macrame cord you will need scissors and some little pins and something to tack down on while you're doing your project you will make this little cutout and you will need a comb of some sort. I ended up buying like a 36 pack of barber black combs on Amazon for about 12 bucks. But you need the combs at the end for combing out. You comb these strings out to make it more looking like a feather. So I'll just show you one wrap uh, and you can go to the website Oh, one other thing, if you start with white, the color you do at the end should be white. So whatever color you start with is the color you do at the end because it'll match the tail at the bottom. Um, so uh, I'm going to, let's start with black. So you take your one piece and you place it underneath the big long one. You can tack this piece down with the pin like that and then you're going to put your your piece approximately in half I think I have slightly more on this side than that side because I will be wrapping it over so I want it to end up even but just slightly over so what you'll be doing is you sort of make a little loop over top this one's coming underneath, this one goes over top, and then you tuck it through. Tuck it through like that, and you will then tighten it. And at this point is when you can kind of adjust to make sure your sides are equal on both. Then you actually wrap a second time. So actually, again, because you're wrapping a second time, you do want to leave a little bit extra on this side. So that it'll hopefully come out quite even. And then you do the same thing, you go over, 
under and this is where you will fiddle around with it a bit up towards the pin that you have there and you will tighten these keep tightening them until they're nice and snug and actually quite snug so you just keep going see that use your nail to like poke poke it nice and close pull really tight snug that up and then hopefully your ends have yep they're pretty close to the same okay and then you'll keep doing that depending on which style you're doing but if I'm doing the medicine wheel I was gonna do like four of each color um, like do four of each color and then I end with the white okay um, but I also did one where I did one black one red one yellow one white um, like I said the colors weren't that great but uh, I would like to find better colors but supplies were limited telling you at the time that I was trying to find this stuff couldn't find anything at Michaels ended up finding this on online I was lucky to find it and it was close enough so this is what we ended up with and anyways I'm gonna you would continue on and just keep doing the same thing so then you would take your next black one and you will repeat the exact same loop over go under and pull uh, make sure it's slightly longer on this side so that when you do your second wrap so basically every string you do is going to be wrapped twice okay and then you're going to snug it all up to the top I am not actually going to make this right now so I'm, I'm not going to do it because I want to keep this kit intact um, but now I will switch over to my photos and uh, we'll discuss it but you can always watch the original video on YouTube which I will put a link here is the website that we originally got the idea from Mac so just do a search in YouTube for macrame feather DIY and um, I'm just going to show you some images now that I took for the rest of the process if you decide not to go watch this video here we have you know I've tied on all the colors in four equal proportions and then next we will take our little template and you will trim that shape which is sort of like a feather um, so you can see I have the little leftover pieces that I trimmed off there and then after that you will grab your comb and you will comb out each piece and that's why you want the single twist so that it'll comb out really nicely and then you'll be trimming you put your thing back on so now it'll be longer so uh, from combing it out it'll be longer again so now you will trim it one last time into the shape that you would like and then there you go I had done two different ones one where I did you know the four colors and then I did where I did two strings two strings of each color and just at the very end of this video I have a few pictures I have taken out of some medicine wheel books we have in the resource center um, this wasn't planned I had actually taken these pictures to show them to my daughter for some books that we have that I thought were really cool and um, I was just going back on my Facebook messages to find these because it's summertime and I'm officially off work but I just wanted to upload this demonstration to you guys from one that we past did before I lose it like lose the information on my computer not that I'm gonna lose it so if you want to pause these images later and read about them but there you go Medicine wheel, macrame feather.